first show since mid-March of 2020. So just so you know, we haven't practiced, we haven't done a show. Spoiler alert, this show is going to be terrible. Just <laughs> terrible, non-stop dropping, ter poorly timed jokes. It's going to be awful. So sit back and relax. But maybe you guys aren't used to being in an audience at this point either. So let's warm you guys up. For this one brief opening juggling piece, what we ask of all of you is that you be disproportionately excited by what you're actually witnessing. So cheer and whistle scream. Pretend you're having fun. You ready? Get ready? Get ready? And hop. You guys can stop, but we'll keep going. And back, and over, and over the other way, and under, and under the other way, and three, three up, catch two. Pause for applause. Yeah. I, I know what you guys are thinking. How can this festival afford us? Yeah. <laughs> this one happens kind of fast, so watch carefully. The top cup slides under here in a split second. You ready? Ready. And go. Nice. All of these moves were stolen from a bartender on a cruise ship. Who's also out of work now. Oh, man. One, two, three, two, three four, four, five. They can't all be good. Thank you, man. You're a good person. You're a good person. You're a good person. You're a person. You're a person. Here's the main All three cups are currently in the right hand. All three cups will fly into the air. All three cups restack into the same hand that threw them. Are you ready? I'm wandering around because I'm confident. Okay, three cups with a confident walk around. Three cups, one hand, and up. Oh. Did we both miss it? We both missed we it. We both missed it. Mid-March, 2020, we Mid got this. We got this. We still got this. One, one more try, one, one more try. One more try, one more try. One more try, if not, three more three, tries. Three more tries, three more tries. Three cups, one hand, take two, and up. Ourselves. We, of course, are the Kamikaze Fireflies. This woman right here, a woman who graduated summa cum laude from West Chester University, then left behind a promising career teaching children to follow fame and fortune on what's left of the Renaissance Festival circuit. Give it up for Casey Martin. Dreams come true. I am peaking right now. Oh, yeah. And to my right, your left, a man so desperate to fit in with the people in Texas that he just got his personal injury lawyer degree. Pretend to fall and hurt your neck and I'll get you a big fat check. Thank you. <laughs> it's Rob Williams. But this show is not about us, it's about you guys. Let's do something for them, Casey. Uh, what do you say? Do you guys want some fire? Yeah. Great, perfect. Let me hear you say, set it on fire. Set it on fire. Oh, really loud, all together, set it on fire. Set it on fire. Is a really great response you can have for a lot of different questions. Like, how do you make a really good juggling show? Set it on fire. How do you roast a pig on a spit? Set it on fire. What do you do if you own on your home that it's currently worth? Set it on fire. Exactly. <laughs> they call that Italian lightning. All right, guys, I think it'll be pretty apparent when to applaud. Ready? One, two, three. Ladies, ladies, burning belly fat as I speak. And now, Casey Martin is going to catch a marshmallow in her mouth, and I'm going to whip at her. Hold on one second, let's see. Let me get this I'll here. just hang here. Here we go. Casey Martin is now going to catch a marshmallow in her mouth. Here we go, get ready, get ready, get ready. And... Oh, jeez. You got meaner during COVID. Here we go, you got this, you got this. Oh, jeez. Just try to... Oh, so close, so close, so close, there it is, there it is. Nice and nice. You got it, 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 you got it. Oh, that one. <laughs> That's it. Give him some tricks, Case. Give him some tricks. Oh, okay, I'll do some tricks for you guys. Taking it down low around the knees. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh. Oh, yeah, there it is. And. Thank you very much. Yes. Yay! All right. Thanks for coming out, you guys. It really is keeping this little festival alive. I had to, everybody had to take a whole year off. It has not been easy. Uh, round of applause for Scarborough Fair for pulling this off. Yay!
really, it, it was a tough thing. There are festivals running concurrent with this one, other places in the country that did not open. And I think it was just because this festival management, they really took it seriously, they did everything they had to do, they got this thing pulled off, and it's helping to save our lives, and there's Casey, I think it's German Wheel, if you were up for German Wheel. Get this oh, away. is it? Okay. Yeah. Moving right along to the German Wheel portion of the show. Now, this is, in fact, a German Wheel, so obviously we had it made in China. And I'll give you a little example here of what it does. Oh, that's funny. That's funny. I went upside down, and I think all the blood must have rushed to my head because I couldn't quite hear your thunderous applause. <laughs> Oh, there it is. All right, I'll earn it this time. One arm only this time. One arm only. Yeah. Much better. Now, before I go on with this routine, I want to show all of you guys out in the audience a Venn diagram. <laughs> this tiny little inside section right here represents all the people who know what a Venn diagram is. You know who you are. stage this time she goes back again and wunderbar all right so we're gonna make this even more difficult so what rob is gonna bring out now is a platter and balanced on top of that platter are a couple pieces of expensive glassware that's right expensive glassware from the goodwill in plano <laughs> and today rob is pouring in Moonshine. That's correct, moonshine. Moonshine that I purchased from the man who hangs out behind the Goodwill in Plano. Ah, uh, he's a good guy. He is a good guy. He's my dad. Now, these are not attached to the platter. Made of glass. Here we go. Plate of expensive glassware on a German wheel. Oh, yeah, here we go. in my mouth, there's a grit in there. Um, now that was level one round of applause. I want to hear what level two round of applause sounds like. That was level two round of applause. I want to hear what level three round of applause sounds like. The whirling dervishes of ancient Turkey, they would use spinning like this to create a religious, ecstatic state. Here in Texas, you guys use Bud Light and Vicodin. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry, there's kids right there in the front row. I meant Red Bull and Ritalin. Let's take the danger up a notch. What I have in my hand is a genuine blow dart gun. These are illegal to have in your prop case if you drive into Canada. I know that now. For that matter, it's... Illegal to drive into Canada right now. <laughs> and I have two balloons. Two balloons I am taping to the side of the German wheel. I have a blue balloon and I have a pink balloon. Making this the world's most extreme baby gender reveal. <laughs> Until just recently. Okay, here we go. We're going on around. Let's do a little That was really close to my hand. Yeah, it really is. Why is it right there? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> You know, sometimes in life, don't you just have to stop and appreciate what's going on right in front of you? Because right now you're looking at a woman in a pink tiara roll around the stage on a giant German wheel that's covered in balloons. And those balloons are being shot by what looks to be the Renaissance version of Anderson Cooper. <laughs> I'm just saying, celebrate. What a weird day you're having, right? Not, not just another day of Netflixing and chilling. Here we go. Nice. Woo! I have another balloon. I consider myself to be a fairly cautious person, so I think it's a little bit strange and a little bit weird for me to place this last balloon. <laughs> My thoughts exactly. <laughs> now this final balloon shot is going to be a double balloon shot, the one she is clasping between her legs and the one on the wall behind her, but to make this final most dangerous and difficult shot more entertaining for you, the audience, this shot will be taken by this little boy. Take the shot. <laughs> he declines. Good choice, Kate. Good choice. He's a good kid. It's a good kid. All right, here we go. Oh, oh, whoa. Ooh, back it up a little, back it up a little. It's a wheel. <laughs> hang tight, hang tight, don't move. Yeah! All right, you guys. 
Keep that noise going. Let's make a little noise here. Here we go. Here we go. out of my left hand, I will then cut that card midair with a whip in my right hand. Thank you for your support. Yeah. As you can see, it's pretty windy out today. It doesn't take much to blow a card offline. If I happen to miss, that's why. All right, here we go. Flick a card, cut it if I can't, if I tell. We might be coming this direction, so let me try it straight at you guys. I'm just trying to play it into the wind. Here we go, let's see how this goes. Okay, don't think about that card, think about the next card. That card is in your past. This card is in your future. Here we go. Yes! Whoa. Just to be clear, on a windy day outside, I threw a playing card and with a six foot bullet, cut it almost perfectly in half. And a full 60% of you were like, took you two tries. Oh, that plot a failure. All right, look at one more for me and for nobody else. Here you go, let's get one more. There we go. Right. Yeah, I should have stopped while I was ahead. You know what? I'll just cheat. I'll just tear the card. There we go. And that's how I pass my SATs. Now, that is hands down the hardest whip cracking trick I know. This one is a little more exciting. Are you ready? Ready. watching right now that have not been hit by a whip, and I hope I'm speaking to most of you. If I were to hit your hand with a whip like this, it would feel like I had slammed that hand in the car door. It would hurt that much. Keep that in mind as she holds the final target. Point those toes, and the uh, the target is a little bit low. Can you uh, can you raise the target? <laughs> True story, we were doing our show a few years ago in Ireland, in Dublin, Casey did that move, and a tiny little four-year-old Irish boy in the back of the audience went, oh yeah. <laughs> four years old, Ireland, the only place that can make Scotland seem classy, all right. She's upside down, she can't say hop anymore, I say hop, all of you respond with a hop, here we go, hop, 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 hop. all right, my B, let me try it again. Everybody all together nice and loud. Hup, 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 You know what? I'm just going to give you a little power. Sis, stay still, stay still. Don't move. All right. She's been upside down a while. Let's get her out of this lolly handstand. Everybody all together nice and loud. Hup, 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 hup. There it is. Give it up for Casey Martin right there. Yeah, give it up for Rob. Oh, yeah. Let's bring this show to a little bitty finale here. We call this last piece Kamikaze Fireflies Climbing on the Furniture. It looks a little something like this. I once had the pleasure of working in the same circus as this act of flying Walinda's, and Tito Walinda would do this thing. When he'd get to his top wire, he would do this. And that's what's what he was doing. He said that's called circus applause. You gather the energy, release the energy, people applaud. Let me try it on you guys. Circus. Applause. Now let me give you a legit reason to give me some of that legit circus applause. All right, guys, do you want chair number two? Yeah. It's okay to fake your enthusiasm. Ask him again, Case. Do you guys want chair number two? Yeah. Oh, much better. I was faking it, too. This one comes in at a nice sharp angle, just like so. No. Now, for those of you who've been coming out here for a number of years, Maybe you've seen us out here before. You saw me in my old show, The Flaming Natives, but I used to stand on a guy from the audience. And uh, obviously, I can't do that routine anymore, but this is still going to get really tall, super dangerous, and very fiery circus applause. Yeah. All right, everybody, how about talent chair number three? Yeah. Right. We are stacking away here. Let me get this one in. Appreciate you guys coming out. It's your support. It's going to save Scarborough Fair, all these booth owners, all these acts. We really appreciate you guys being here. There it is, circus applause. All right, you guys, how about chair number four? Yeah. Now, those of you that are seated, like, really close in here, maybe you noticed, there are these little notches cut into the chairs. Can you see that? 
And that is what makes this little configuration possible. But if you think that tiny little notch makes this safe or easy, <laughs> join me. <laughs> Chair for the Yeah, kid, I hear you. It was a joke. I'm not really asking you to come up here. Circus applause. Now, again, we wanted this to be the finale, so normally I just come up here, it's plenty dangerous enough, uh, but uh, we wanted it to be the finale, so we had to add a little extra something, a little extra um, something to it, a little land yep. Uh, Casey, bring it on out. Okay, here we go. Careful, careful, it's really delicate. Okay. If this looks really wobbly, this, this fire device we're adding here, if it looks really janky and low end, it's because I made it. Is it? Let's well, we'll switch just a little bit just so it's even. Good? I think so, yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Let's get that fifth chair. Fifth chair, all right. Spoiler alert. <laughs> you guys want chair number five? Yeah, you better like chair number five. There ain't going to be a chair number six. <laughs> More than that, wouldn't be working out here. Does it look good? Press down. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Oh, that wind. Circus applause. All right, let's uh, spark this thing up. What do you say? Casey, yeah? Yes, yes. Oh, you were asking me. I thought you were asking them. Okay. <laughs> nice. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to light it while you do that. Okay. This wind. We'll go back to uh, So place. after we're done with this, uh, we do have some t-shirts for sale, but we'll also be passing our hat. We're going to pass the hat with some uh, fishing poles at a nice distance. We've got the dip jar over there. Uh, look, we totally get it that uh, this uh, pandemic maybe it hit you guys economically the same way it did us. If you can't afford to tip, don't worry about it. The show is our gift to you. Uh, but if you can help us out, it helps keep the show on the road. It's really appreciated. Thanks, guys. All right, Rob, it's starting to light it. You know, this show doesn't have any corporate sponsor. This show wasn't brought to you by Ford or Pepsi. This show is a very American thing. It is free speech. When you give us money at the end, you're saying, I support free speech. If you walk away without paying, you hate America. <laughs> All right, yeah, I'm ready. Yeah! I love juggling fire in the wind. Oh, yeah. All right, let's get a rhythmic clap going. Clap, clap, clap. That was a really nice round of applause you just gave me there. I still have to say, overall, not worth it. <laughs> I know it looks like I'm out of the woods on this, but really I'm not. Getting the top chair off of the stack has toppled the entire stack before. It happened about a year and a half ago in Florida. Nobody came up to help me. They just laughed and yelled, Jenga. <laughs> Florida. There you go. Got it? There's a whole lot of like shifting the weight. Now I gotta shift it backwards to make this chair go forward. There we go. From there on out, it's pretty easy. Now the fire device. That was five, four, three, two, one. Got it. Yeah! In all sincerity, it is much harder bringing joy into this world than it is sorrow. Thank you for letting us do our job. That was to bring some laughter to all of you. We're the Kamikaze Fireflies. That's Casey. Good job. Thank you all. Have a great day. Thanks, guys. <laughs>